Tonight, President Trump says he is getting to work on gun control after hosting a listening session at the White House. It was attended by school shooting survivors and those affected by the tragedy at Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida. Eyewitness News reporter Alexandria Hoff joins us now from our satellite center with some of the ideas presented today. Alex? Yeah, Yuki, it was a very candid and emotional exchange inside of the White House today. The listening session included not only student survivors from Parkland, Florida, but parents who continue to suffer the loss of their children killed in the Columbine and Sandy Hook school shootings. I was on the second floor in that building, texting my mom, texting my dad, texting three of my brothers. That I was never going to see him again. That is the sound of a rare pain and deep desperation relatable to so many of those in the company of President Trump. I was lucky enough to come home from school, unlike some of my other classmates and teachers. I was actually in the second classroom that I was shot at. Um, in my mind, as a kid, that should nothing ever that horrible should ever have to happen to you. It should have been one school shooting, and we should have fixed it. Because my daughter, I'm not going to see again. She's at, in, in North Lauderdale at whatever it is, King David Cemetery. That's where I go to see my kid now. Andrew Pollock's daughter was shot nine times and killed alongside 16 others last Wednesday inside of Marjorie Stoneman High School. How many children have to get shot? It stops here with this administration and me. It's, I'm not going to I'm not going to sleep until it's fixed. And Mr. President, we're going to fix it. The listening session included students and parents from Parkland, Florida, educators from the nation's capital and parents who lost children at the Columbine and Sandy Hook massacres. I've been in this building before many times, wringing our hands, pleading with legislators. What can we do? You don't want to be me. No parent does. And you have the ability to make a difference and save lives today. President Trump ended the hour-long conversation with this message. All I can say is that we're fighting hard for you and we will not stop. We will not stop. The president said to the group that he is dedicated to increased background checks for firearms purchases and explored the topic of arming teachers and school administrators. That idea earned both support and opposition from the room. Reporting live in the SAT Center, Alexandria Hoff, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.